Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're gonna be going over a very controversial topic that I know will make a lot of people butt hurt beyond belief. But before I start this off, um, this is about a thing, as you probably saw with the thumbnail and title, or whatever. Before I say anything, um, I'm just gonna make the point right here, very quickly. Thing is not beyond God tier. He's just not. And this is for end game players. Keep in mind, if you're a newer mid game player, okay, and you're like doing the variants, thing can be beyond God tier. But I'm saying overall, the state of the game we're in right now, the way I perceive a Beyond God tier character is whether they can do an end game content. Now, I'm gonna break his character down because see, and in a lot of people have been discussing recently, it's been a big topic, people arguing whether he is or isn't Beyond God tier, okay? I mean, he's just not. We're gonna break down why, and I'm gonna explain to you if you're still on the fence, you don't really know why I believe he's just not where he used to be, like at all. So. Let's go through all of his abilities. So his signature ability is, I think, the only thing he does best. Like the thing that with thing, I mean, like, the thing with thing is to be a beyond god tier character. Okay, the way I define it is in end game content, in tricky fights, in tricky pass, and the fights that like the pass aren't the cheesy pass. The ones that you can do with any character, the ones that are hard. Who is the first character that comes to mind? Those are the Beyond God tier ones. They're the ones that can deal with shit, okay? And they can deal with it well, not just like barely get through it. Like a 400 hit Loki fight or something. Like that's just no, 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 no. So, with that being said, just really want to address this before I forget. So, in Seton's video, he was going back and reviewing Thing. But in his video, he was do using the Thing synergy in Easy Pass in Act 7. And he's like, well, yeah, he still works for X7, but the past that he was taking thing on weren't exactly difficult past. Like any character could take it, if you know what I mean. Like or most characters can. Like they weren't hard past. He was doing like the the one that was like flare and the special one where your special attacks do 400 percent more damage. And he was just ending fights in one special. I mean, yeah, that's cool and all, but most decent characters can do that already. So. Eh. And then he was also, um, you know, showing, like, some, like, low-tier gameplay in, like, Act 6. Like, some, like, basic pass that, like, have, like, no really, like, hard node. It's, like, unblockable finale. But, like, once again, not the most strenuous path. Um, you don't need, really, a super good character for that. Being able to do that path doesn't make you on god tier. Doing the harder pass will make you on god tier. But we're going to go through things abilities real quick. So... One thing to get straight, straight out of the way, one of the big cons of Thing, one of the cons that I think everyone knows and everyone's going to expect me to say, so I'm just going to say it already because why not? You're expecting me to say it already. For you to get like the actual damage out of Thing, you need the full team synergy. And the other four characters aren't really that good. I forget who it is. It's like Champion, um, Angela, Heimdall, and like Hela or something. I don't know. Could be wrong, but it's like those characters, I think. Those characters aren't gonna do fucking shit in a quest. I hate it. They're just not. Maybe Angela after her buff, but I'm talking right now. He's like the hard carried team. The thing is, when you go to like end game content, okay, you're gonna need specific counters for different fights on the path and the boss. Unless you're doing a super easy path. And in those hard paths, you can't justify bringing in four other shit characters for one character. It's just not justifiable. Thing, 99% of the times, isn't gonna be able to do the whole path and the boss easily. When instead, you can bring in a character that can do just as much damage, like a Cosmic Ghost Rider, for example, who could probably even out damage Thing, but then you can also bring four other better characters to help with the path. You don't have to rely on one character for your team. I understand in like some of the variants and like some of the lower Act 5, Act 4 content, that's all you need. You don't need one character like a bulldoze. Like, thing in Act 5, Act 4, obviously beyond God tier, because you don't need, like, utility and shit. But I'm talking endgame content. We're talking Labyrinth, Abyss, or maybe not Labyrinth as much, but Abyss, um, actually, yeah, Labyrinth 2, Act 7, like, late Act 6, like, I guess all of Act 6, really. You can't just bring in Thing and four of the shit characters to do the hard pass. I mean, you could do that for the easy pass. Like, I'm not saying you can't, like, the path that Seton did, I think, was, what is it? It was, uh, not in Act 7. It was one in Act 5, or Act 6. I think it was the Havoc quest, okay? He did the Havoc quest, and he took a shot at the boss. He, boss, he got, like, what, 75% of the boss's health down. And um, 
I mean, that's great and all. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm sorry. My oh, heroes cannot be another team's. I don't know what that means, but I guess we're going to ignore that. Um, what, let me try to go back in again. I don't know what just happened. I think maybe because things in alliance or defense or something. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Heroes cannot be another team's means. But let's just bring an Aegon, whatever. This should be fun. Hopefully. Okay, yeah. The path that he did to show things amazing, uh, latent abilities is the Vulture, and then you take Joe Fix It. This is not a hard path, okay? This is literally just unblockable finale. Okay, that's not difficult. If you want to show a character's true abilities of how they can get around mechanics, maybe take them into Armor to Soul, Armor, Burden of Might, whatever. Like, the harder paths. The ones that people, like, actually need to, like, be on God tier characters for, you know, obviously. You go into Act 7... If it wants to load. You go into just a random quest of Act 7, okay? Random class right here. And let's pick this path. This is Destructive Feedback, Cosmic Wrath, Impatience. Um, I mean, okay. I mean, maybe that's not the best example. Or this one is decent, I guess, for thing. But, okay, I'm getting really bad examples. But the majority of the time, let's just look at this path, for example. Thing, he, you can't justify bringing full team synergy for a path like this. You can't take all these fights. You might struggle with Nick Fury. You can't do the boss. So, like, you can't justify bringing in four other shitty characters for Thing. And by all means, I'm not saying Thing's a bad character. I think he's the tier, whatever tier you want to put under Beyond God tier, that's where he's at. Because you can't justify bringing Thing and, like, say this path. This path's good for Thing, I'm, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, this is a good path for Thing because it has Buffet, right? And, you know, he's immune to Buffet. You could do that, full thing synergy, and hope thing with his 10% of health can do this full path. Or, you could just bring in another good character that can deal with this, and four other better ones. I think I've made my point clear. But now we're just going to go into, like, his abilities, just to break down each ability one by one. Um, so, first thing he has is his sig ability, obviously. His sig ability is what kind of makes the character really good. And this is one of my first problems with him. He kind of really needs super high sig to have his utility to, like, be able to tank shit. And, um, you know, the way the meta is going right now, we're going towards six stars. And trying to get a six star to SIG 200 is borderline impossible unless you spend a lot. Or you can only do it to, like, really one character. And, you know, most people aren't going to have thing as their top choice that they want to waste all their SIGs into. Some of them might. But just that point one, getting the six star to SIG 200 is going to be really hard for at least a while. So that hurts him. Whereas, like, a character like Human Torch, you pull him, you can take him to rank 3, you don't have to worry about, you know, like, taking him super high sig, like, that's all you need, you already got his kit right there. But basically what it is, is, if you can get him to sig 200, which is a con of the character needing to be high sig, but, if you can, okay, we're gonna talk about just the character now, not without the team synergy, because you might be saying, oh, without the team synergy, what is he like? You can tank a lot of shit if they were to deal 300% or more of their attack rating with a basic hit. This would trigger um, your unbreakable spirit or your protection, whatever it's called. And basically, you can it's like hard to die with Thing. This is great and all. I've seen this being best used in incursions when you get to the late rooms and the attack is so high, the block every parry is in protection. That's very good, very nice, very cool and all. But he hits like a fucking noodle without his team synergy in incursions. Um, but yeah, he can do that. But I was thinking about this. Because I'm going to make a point that pretty much any character can do what he can do and better. Um, say you're in Act 7, you're like, well, he has a great safety net. Well, you could, and hear me out on this, try just not getting hit. I mean, I know that's obviously not going to happen always. If you're going to make mistakes, you're human. But at the same time, is it worth bringing in te uh, full team synergies and thing for, for that point alone? But if you want to bring Justin in your team and four other good characters... You can tank shit, yeah, but then the fights will take like 8,000 years because without his team synergy, he hits like a noodle. I'm tired of pretending like he doesn't. Some people say he still hits hard. No, he doesn't. He just doesn't. He doesn't at all. Now we go on to his immunities. People are like, he has a lot of immunities. So like, he has so many immunities. Okay, well, bleed immunity. I don't even think I have to say anything here. I can name like a million characters that have bleed immunity and are better than thing. There's a lot of characters in this game that have it. It's not a niche. To have bleed immunity. Shock immunity. That is lesser known. And obviously not a lot of characters have shock immunity. But. 
there still are characters with shock immunity that are better. You know, the first one is like one of my mind, Ghost, Corvus, Doom. Um, there's another one I'm trying to think of, I just forgot. Um, there's a lot of good shock immune characters, okay? There's still a lot of characters that can do shock immunity and they're better than the thing. Then you have armor break and armor shatter immunity, which is really the same thing, just armor break immunity. Um, the only situation I can really see that being useful in is like Vision Arcus. But then again, there's plenty of other characters that are already immune to cold snap, so you don't really have to worry about it. Like, I don't know, Doom once again. He's immune to armor breaks also, so he won't worry about it. He's better than Vision Arcus. You got Corvus, who will just heal from the armor break and the cold snap. Um, you just got a lot of characters that can deal with armor break shit. And also, how many scenarios are you really going to be in an armor break scenario? Like, how many scenarios are there where you need immunity to armor break? Very few. Vision Argus is the only character that comes to mind. I don't know any node. I could be wrong, but eh, I don't really know, dude. I don't see it. And then people nullify, stagger, and face seal immune. Well, that's a lot more of a niche. But there are other characters. So he's basically immune to a like, buffet and like be nullified. Um, you know, you have Red Guardian, so he's also immune to Buffet, because he's just immune to buffs in general, and I, uh, they're both, I think, good characters. I don't know necessarily is better out of those two, but, um, yeah, I'm not going to go into that argument now, but that's one of his few niches, I'll give him that. He is immune to Buffet and other annoying shits, but, at the same time, if I want to bring him into endgame content, I can't bring his full team synergy, so say there's a buffet path, and I want to bring Thing Threat because he's immune. I mean that's great and all he'll be immune, but the whole path will take like a hundred years. Or hear me out on this, I could bring Archangel or any heal block immune character like Warlock, or just any character who can out damage it, which most non God tier characters can. I mean, you, you see what I'm saying here? Like, he has the immunity to that kind of stuff, but, like, at the same time, do you need it, really? Like, yeah. Like, in endgame content, you're gonna have, what, like, a Cosmic Ghost Rider, Archangel. I mean, these characters that can shut out the regen very easily. So it's like, whatever. So those are his immunities. I don't think he has anything that he does, like, the best, okay? Nothing the best so far. Except for maybe tanking bullshit damage with block. But then again, if it's like not physical and it's like energy in any way, then he's shit for it. But you know who isn't? You know, Namor. I mean, <laughs> like once again, I think Namor is better for dealing with bullshit damage than things protection. Then we go back to more of his abilities. Um, does he have more abilities? Not really. That's pretty much all things abilities in a nutshell. So you take everything thing can do. And I just think another character can do it better. So let's just go into like. Um, all right, let me leave this. Let's just go into like Act Six, okay? I'm just gonna go into a very easy Act Six path uh, if it'll let me, maybe. Hopefully, we can just go to Act Seven. Why not? It's right here. Um, let's bring in Thing. Or is this dude? Okay, his prestige is good. You have that. Okay, heroes can't be another team. So what the fuck even is that? I think because he's on defense right now, so maybe it'll let me join Realm of Legends. If it doesn't let me do this, then that's really sad. Okay, he's on defense right now, so I can't. That's really annoying. Um, I can maybe duel someone. Okay, let's just do Ebony Maw. Fuck it, why not? I can't really make my point. Okay, wait. Does this matter? Okay, maybe just Dr. Voodoo, I guess. Because <laughs> this isn't working. Dr. Voodoo. Um, am I missing something? Did they like, take out these dual things? What about just like Mordo? Okay, I don't know if I was spelling something wrong. There's definitely a possibility I was fucking something up. But um, either way, we're just going to show off his damage real quick. This is... Five star, rank five, okay? Just been not, not the best matchup for him, honestly, but, you know, we're gonna build up some Furies. And this is what, like a 20,000 health Mordo, like 30,000 health, so it's like not a big fight at all, okay? And we're just gonna see what his damage is looking like. Okay, this dude's really just running. See, look, I mean, he can tank shit. I don't think that had anything to do with his protection there. I don't think his protection was even active, but. So, 
right off the bat, we are doing 1325 mediums. Let's build them up all the way, actually, so there's no excuses. Okay, all the way build up. And I'm all the way as a solo character. Which, by the way, this takes time to build them up. So, I mean, in a normal fight, you obviously want to be this. 3.7k, you know, not bad, not bad at all. Class advantage, though, keep in mind. Okay, this is definitely very bad. If I could have just brought him into Realm of Legends, I would have made my point so much clearer. Oh, uh, we have the protection. My sig my um, thing's only sig 20, so this isn't like the best shine. Um, you know what, fuck this fight. This is kind of just wasting everyone's time. Um, yeah, whatever. 5 of 4k. His damage is decent once you ramp him up, but like it's nowhere near like a Nick Fury or whatever. I can't show you any gameplay, which kind of annoys me, but... End of the day, the point of this video is basically anything Thing can do, like, pretty much is a better character for these days. Like, say you want, I don't know, bleed immunity. If you look at my roster, like, if you look at all my rank 5s or rank 3 6 stars, if I want a bleed immune fight, there's characters I look towards. I don't know, Corvus, Omega, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, Ghost. Namor, I guess, could handle it, but probably not the best option. Um, you know, Morningstar. Um, what's it called? Uh, Guillotine 2099. Magneto. Colossus. Warlock. Um, a second Colossus. A second Ghost. Like, I have so many just better options for Bleeding Man. I think all those characters are better than Thing when it comes to, like, just damage and other shit. They have other shit they can bring to the table. I want a shocking Man character. Who's the first person I look to? Doom, Corvus, even Silver Surfer, I might rather use a rim. Uh, what are the Shockman characters do I have? Uh, not really anything too much. I don't know. Shockman is pretty rare. Magneto, a lot better. Um, like, there's just so many better characters. Ghost, obviously. You know, what do I want? I want someone who can just take a hit or whatever. I mean, Doctor Doom is pretty chunky. I mean, just a lot of characters. Morningstar is pretty sustainable with her regen. I mean, I, I mean, I think I'm making my point, but at the end of the day, here's my final thing, my final verdict. Thing is not beyond God tier anymore because he doesn't do anything the best. When Thing first came out, he was a crazy damage dealer, all that. He did everything you needed, okay? And the content wasn't that hard. But nowadays, when you need an intricate, deep roster, you can't just bring in full team synergies for Thing and go to the quest, swing in. Because any, any debuffs that he's not immune to will just kill him since he has to play at like such a low health. Um, any mistakes, you just die. You make any mistakes. There's no safety net because of his health because you're playing with so low health. His play style is very just like you have to get to one health and he's like your only character you use on the team. You know, he just isn't the best anymore. He is like, think of it this way. You ever see someone doing Act 7 Legends runs or, you know, just Seaton running through it or just any YouTuber stream or whatever? Tell me honestly when was the last time they said Thing was the first option they thought of for any boss fight, any lane, and there's my point. Thing, no longer be on God tier. He just isn't. He just isn't. He just isn't. If you look at my account... I have so many Beyond God tier rank ups. Doom, I think, is better. Aegon is better. Corvus is better. Omega Red is better. Clairvoyant, Ghost, better. Silver Surfers, not even that good, and he might even be better. Hitmonkey, probably better. Namor, better. Mysterio, honestly, I'd rather use him for... I use him more often than Thing. Um, Sunspot, a lot better. Blade, old as shit. Still probably could use him for more shit than him. Celsius Spider-Man, I use him a lot more often. Symbiote Supreme, Captain America. Literally all these characters I use once in a while. I never use Thing. I rank Thing up for one path. This is the final point I'm going to make. I remember I wanted to bring this up, but I forgot about it. The only thing he did the best, I remember, for a while, he was the best. He was so good. You know what he was so good at? He was so good. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to bring Thing into the team. Fuck. This is ruining my point. Come on, load. Oh, no. Go back. Hold on, um, hold on, guys. One thing that he was the best at for the longest time, because there was not many good characters for, one thing he was the best at was this annoying node called Can't Stop, Won't Stop. The duration of the attacker's unstoppable effects are increased by 100%. However, the defender takes 75% less damage unless the attacker is unstoppable. I ranked up my five-star thing for this node, okay? 
I used it for him in 6.3, and I have not used him since, okay? This is what thing is the best at. Except, wait, hold on, never mind, because a few months ago they decided to buff the character that everyone has on their account because he's been out since 2015, your boy, Magneto. And now the one thing thing is the best at, can't stop, won't stop, he is not the best at anymore. Magneto is a million times better in every way, okay? Magneto's a beast for can't stop, won't stop. Every heavy attack's a heavy, he's just the best. So now you look at the thing, he is not the first option, the first choice for anything anymore. There you have my thesis paper. Hopefully you guys don't fucking try to crucify me, because I know this video is gonna get disliked. I know there's gonna be hate comments. People are like, thing is the best character in the game. He does so much damage, you just don't understand. Dude, he's not trash, but he is whatever tier you put below beyond God tier, because for me, he just ain't in anymore, bro. I, I've literally used this guy one time since I've rank 5 him for one path, and now that one use he has, I have a better character for. This dude, even my least played characters that I've had for years, like Blade, okay, fucking, what else? Um, host I like never use, I never use Domino, okay? I never use She-Hulk, but even these characters get used like once in a blue moon. Thing has not gotten touched since that path in 6.3. Even Domino, who I think is not that good. I know that's another overhyped character to shit. Even she had one use in 7.1 on an incinerate path. Am I saying Thing can't do any paths on X7? No. But what I am saying is he ain't the first option for me for any of the paths on X7. Okay? And if he ain't the first option for any player on any path in the end game. And any type of content that's like end gamey, like like he's just he's just ain't in anymore. He never getting used in AW, ain't getting used in AQ, ain't getting used in like fucking questing. Like he's not beyond God too. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Get a like, comment, subscribe. I know there's gonna be butter people, and if you're butter, I mean okay, I don't really care. But yeah, just I wanted to explain. Just he's not beyond God too anymore. He's just not. He doesn't get used for shit at all. He's good with prestige, I guess, but there's just too many cons for me to consider him beyond God anymore. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get a like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me if you think there's any other overhyped characters I want to make videos on. I am thinking of making two more videos. One on Domino, I already mentioned, and one on Cat Marvel movie, who I think are both overhyped. But we'll see. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.